What's up, Killjoy gang? I am back with another episode. If you're new to my channel, my name is Joy, and I'm here to give you a hygiene slash smell good skincare routine today. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of lifestyle, vlogging, um, just day to day, and how to be a girl boss. It's a little mixture of everything. Um, but today we are focusing on skincare and i just want to give you a disclaimer if you hear any sirens or any loud honking i do live in downtown la so um anything could be happening down here but i just want to let you guys know um but i want to start off with what i do in the shower and when i get out the shower so i want to start with skincare body care first um first things first i think it is what you shower with in the shower all right, I'm back. I told you guys, the sirens down here gets kind of crazy. Um, but I'm like I was saying, I want to focus on body care right now. So what I use in the shower, I like to use um, the exfoliating cloth. So I have an exfoliating cloth, and I also use um, exfoliating gloves. So however I feel that day in the shower, um, I bought these from Marshalls for like $4. Um, and it came with a pack of two. So this is great. You just put it on and then I just rub my body. I put my soap on there and then just rub my body. And when I come out, I'm telling you guys, all that dead skin, honey, it's gone. So yes, I really think exfoliating gloves, exfoliating. And if you're sensitive, you don't need to. Sometimes I use a loafah, especially when I'm traveling. I just use a travel size of the loafah that I buy from Walmart for a dollar. And I leave it in the hotel room or wherever I'm staying. I'm like not taking it home with me because I don't like to travel with wet things and stuff like that it gets bacteria like once it's done it's one and done for me uh, but the ones in my house I of course keep for longer um, but I do like to switch it out just for you know making sure there's no bad bacteria on your cloths and stuff especially when it's damp okay so first things first the soap that I use this one is my favorite hopefully you guys can see it, it will focus um, but this is the Dove Deep Moisture. You can find this at Walmart. I usually buy it in a bigger tube, but uh, they they were they sold out, so I bought a pack of two. And this goes, this flies by. Um, no matter if it's me using it or anybody that's staying with me at the time, they love to use the soap. It's just very moisturizing. I'm sensitive, so I have very sensitive skin. I don't like things that are like, you know, I like things more on like the softer, natural side so yes dove deep moisture guys and make sure when you're at the store you grab the right one because there's different blue ones and then this is the dark blue one so it's the um deep moisture and yeah i love this i've been using this for years now and this is my go-to a big bottle is like eight seven dollars nine dollars at the most for the big huge one so this lasts for a while so the next soap I like to use um, down by my private parts is uh, Dr. Bronner's Castell Soap. So it's the baby unscented. Okay, guys, unscented. I told you I don't really, I'm not really a big fan for scents, and especially down there to keep your pH level and pH balance right, you want to make sure you're using like unscented natural things when you are down there or any parts of your body that's sensitive. Um, but yeah, I use this, and boy, I usually get the big bottle, but I keep the small bottle in my um, in my bathroom. I want to make sure you guys can see the labels. Um, but yes, it is Dr. Bronner's. Um, 18 in 1 Hemp Baby Unscented Pure Castile Soap. So, this is a go. And I found this at Target. So, you can get it at Target. Um, I know they sell it on Amazon. So, wherever you like to get your stuff. And it's really, really good. Especially if you like... You can... Even sometimes, I will use this all over my body first as like a pre-wash. Just to get, make sure all the dirt is off. And then I go in with my more luxurious soap. Um, which I'm going to show you now. I get this soap from Lush. So fun fact, I used to work at Lush um, Cosmetics for a few years and I was really into skincare and all of that. Um, and yeah, I worked for them and was managing a store for them. And now I'm now that I don't work there, um, I still go and use the stuff because we used to get like half off, but I don't care if it's half off or not. I'm gonna go get this. This bottle right here is like 20 probably $23 for the small one. They have a smaller one, a travel size one. So I always use that for my, um, when I travel and go um, out of town, I have a travel size version of this. And then there's a bigger one too. So this one is the Rose Jam. Oh, when I tell you guys, it smells like you just, I'm, I'm not a fan of scented soaps and 
and stuff like that but this right here smells so good like when you get out the shower everyone in the house is gonna smell up the whole house it just smells like roses and like good roses too like this is this is the truth guys and this sells out pretty fast at lush so you definitely want to tap in with them um and this is the only soap that i use from them like this rose jam thank me later okay so once i'm in the shower those are the soaps i use i also like to go in with a body scrub so besides using exfoliating, it depends i'm not going to scrub my body if i'm also using exfoliating um scrubs already to cleanse myself so if i'll do vice versa if i'm gonna use a body scrub i'll use a soft loafer and use that to soak me up and then i'll go in with my body scrub so i just got this fenty one focus camera focus um but yes i got this fenty skin and it's called buff rider so it's an exfoliating body scrub use it all over your body when i tell you guys all you gotta do is just put oh it smells so good it's just put a dollop like a little bit scrub it on your body oh this is this is the truth and then it just turns into like soap so it's it's great the fenty skin really good uh, definitely leaves your skin feeling brand new so i love this um and that one is more expensive i got this i get this at sephora so i believe it was like around 30 30 dollars 30 something dollars it won't last too long i feel like i've already kind of ran through it in just one wash so this is something that you want to do maybe like once a week or something like that just like just to freshen up your skin, not on a daily basis. Another scrub that I use um, is a scrub called Ocean Salt. You can also use this scrub on your face, but I'm kind of, I'm really sensitive, so it's a little rough. It's too rough for my face, but I do use it on my body. And guys, this is so amazing. It's literally Ocean Salt, like blue Ocean Salt. Just take a little bit. It brightens your skin. It's going to make your skin feel brand new. So, Ocean Salt, you get this from Lush. They have this small size, and then they have a bigger size. Um, and always, I always like to go bigger, but sometimes, like, I don't use this this often. Maybe, like, once a month or once every blue moon. But this is definitely a staple. Like, oh, I have to go somewhere to an event. I want to brighten up my skin and kind of look fresh. Then go ahead and use this on your body. And then they have a soap preserving one another version for sensitive skin and it's uh, less harsh so i like to use that one on my face um if i am going to use that so right here ocean salt so next when i got the shower i'm like drying my body probably good um i go in with this ingrown hair wipe so i get this from european wax center um I believe European Wax Center is like in all over the U.S. So I go there, get this, and then um, this is when, co well, we're still in COVID, but because of COVID and at one point European Wax Centers, no one was w allowed to wax in Los Angeles. So they closed down the wax centers. And in between those months of like, what am I going to do? <laughs> like, because um, I'm not a super fan of shaving. I don't like shaving. It's ingrown hairs. It grows back. Makes it a little itchy. I don't, I don't like shaving. So I, I prefer to wax. Like, that's what I do. Eventually, I do want to get laser. But, you know, I got to get myself mentally prepared for that. But for now, like, I, I had used this. And you just use it when you got the shower or whenever. It's a wipe and yes honey it, it stops hair growth which is crazy like but it definitely helps like slow down the process of your hair growing back so and then also when it grows back it doesn't grow and grow as ingrown hairs so i think this is a good thing to use on a daily basis just to make sure you know some people deal with ingrown hairs i'm gonna keep it hunting with you guys i sometimes deal with ingrown hairs and they're annoying and you have to get it out and it's just just use that it helps it definitely helps um so another thing that i really like to use when i got the shower i'm putting on my underwear i like to dust my underwear my little drawers a little bit so it smells good throughout the day um i use this it's called silky underwear hopefully you guys can see it but it's called silky underwear and i use this i get this from lush and you just get a little you know and just just a little bit and yeah i just put that on you can put it on your body like if you, anywhere you can put even where you sweat so you know i'm a little chestier i might have to go ahead and put some under my boobs some days especially in the summer 
Um, and depending what state I'm in at the time, like, yeah, you're definitely going to use this. So I use this as soon as I get the shower, lotion up, put my underwear on. I go ahead and just dust my underwear and sometimes dust my little bra, make sure I'm smelling good. So yeah, this is this is the way to go. Perfect for uh, sensitive skin too. So it's a dusting powder. If you don't want to use this, it's similar to using a baby powder. So you can go ahead and get you baby powder too. It's basically the same thing. I just like this and I like the ingredients that they have. It's jasmine scented with cocoa butter, leaves skin soft, smooth, and sexy. So I love how Lush packaging is and the things that they say about how they describe stuff. Like it just sounds so good. Okay, so now I want to head over to what I use when I got the shower and what lotions I use. So this is an important step for me. I'm a lotion head. I'm a lotion head, guys. I don't know what that is, but that's what I am. Um, I like to use a lot of lotions and oils. So, um, let's... Okay, so I'm going to have my oils right here. So, I like to use... First things first is my Vaseline body oil. You just need a little few drop, drops. And, guys, I swear by this. I, I run through these bottles. And I get them from Walmart. It's so annoying now where the Walmart... Where I'm from, like, you have to purchase all body care in the body care area even if you're purchasing other stuff because i guess maybe we we'll still out i understand y'all still in this vaseline i get it because it is good stuff so i use this i also like to use grapeseed oil so grapeseed oil leaves your skin so plump like guys uh, my skin is still juicy right now i took a shower earlier this morning it's about five o'clock in the afternoon so yes grapeseed oil i get this from gnc um uh, but i you can get this from amazon or anywhere just any grapeseed oil so i mix those two oils these are the two oils that i use um and then i mix them in with my body cream so i also use this cocoa butter formula um it's literally just cocoa butter like hard cocoa butter but um hope you guys can see that but yeah, that's what I use. I use this cocoa butter and it's great. So I get a little bit of scoop of this. I get, I drop some drizzles of each of the um, or body oils and then I mix it in with whatever moisturizer I'm going to use. So there's two moisturizers I use. Um, the first one I use, oh, I, I recently started using this and I smelt it in Sephora and I was like, y'all, this is a game changer. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. <laughs> like the I don't know why I said it like that, but this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Up. Uh, <sighs> smells so good, guys. Like it smells. I just feel delicious. Like I need to be. If I go to sleep with this, I need to be wrapped up with somebody. Like this smells so good. Uh, like this is the scent I like. More toasted, warm. Like I like this so i get this brazilian bum bum and then i also have a very the small one i travel with that but that is my go-to i use it in the morning and i mix it with the, all the other oils and that i just showed you and then sometimes if i feel like i'm putting on a lot of perfume or i don't want to mix too many scents or i'm just gonna go to bed so i'm not really you know worried about you know i just want to be moisturized like moisturize moisturize i go ahead and use this lotion called charity pot um instead of the brazilian bum bum so i still mix in with my oils my grapeseed oil my vaseline and my cocoa butter and then i also add this charity pot so charity pot is basically just um it's shea butter um it's shea butter moringa oil cocoa butter um it's a bunch of lang lang vanilla fresh olive oil i'm um, not olive oil aloe vera <laughs> But it just smells like cocoa. It just smells clean. And all you need is a little bit, guys. I'm telling you, like, a little bit goes a long way. Like, it goes a long way. But it leaves your skin so soft. So if you have super dry skin, and I deal with that, especially being black, woman of color, you know, we don't want to be ashy. I don't want to be walking around outside and someone's like, ma'am. You know, my friends are those type of friends. Like, my friends will be like, girl, you are, put some lotion on. Like, dang. Like, so I like to have choices. So those are what, those, those, those are the lotions that I use. Those are the lotions that I use for, um, 
my body so that is my body care okay now we're gonna talk about what I do for my feet okay so I like to I'm a very particular person when it comes to my feet I like my feet done so I usually go to the nail shop every other week like twice a month and just get my feet scrubbed on and you know cleaned up and everything like that but in between I like to keep that pedicure up so what I do is I actually bought one of these um, callus removers uh, scrapers so you basically just take this top and put it in the back and scrub your feet okay and it feels so good you so you want to soak your feet a little bit and then uh, after you soak it a little bit maybe in the tub or something um you go ahead dry your feet and then scrape off the dead skin with this and i bought this on at marshall's for like five dollars so you can go to your local so after i go ahead and scrub my feet with the couch remover i also like to go ahead and take some self-care time and do a, a foot mask so i get this foot mask it's a lavender foot mask it's literally like a sock that you just put on your feet um and i chill with this on the couch while you know all them oils that i just put on is soaking i go um soaking into my skin i go ahead and put this um foot foot mask on and yeah i do that maybe once a week or once whenever i feel like taking a little extra self-care i like to do this and then this time i usually like meditate just chill think about like where i'm trying to go you know in my life or whatever i like to just relax and think good things so i like to do that and then i go ahead and top that off with a foot cream um i have a foot cream it's called pink peppermint actually um oh it's right here so I have this foot cream um, that I get from Lush. It's called Pink Peppermint. And I love this cream, guys, because it helps like with your feet. If you have sore feet or you walk a lot or stand a lot on your feet, this is the cream that you're going to want to get. So I get this from Lush. It has Arnica gel in it. So Arnica gel helps with um, inflammation. It helps with um, aching. So I love this lotion. It doesn't smell the best, but it's going on your feet. So it's like a pink lotion um that you can put on your feet and you can actually put it on anywhere on your body that it's aching or has inflammation or anything like that um but that is speci uh, specifically for your feet and this jar is about 30 dollars at lunch um and this will last you like this lasts me for a good two years like no cap even if the back of it says it's best to use by whatever date the thing about Lush products, how I use it, I'm not telling you guys you can use it like that, but how I like to use it is, I still use it even after the Best Buy day because sometimes it'd be a little even better, like, you know? So, um, it's natural stuff for the most part, and, you know, going over a little expiration day ain't gonna hurt nobody. So, I like to use that after I do my mask, scrub my feet, put my mask, my foot mask on, I top it off with this lotion, put my socks on. Don't talk to me. You might need someone that's going I'd be like, man, I need to find someone that's going to suck these toes. But usually I can never find anyone to do that. But um, after this foot regimen, you're going to be like, hello, someone, someone's ready for this. Okay, so after that, that's my foot. I want to go ahead and what I use to shave. So like I said earlier, I like to get waxes. I don't really enjoy shaving. Um, I used to shave when I was younger, but I, I was seeing like it was making me itchy and irritated and no matter what I like to use sensitive razors um, But even then like I see my hair growing back way too fast. So I started waxing um, But in between sometimes if I don't have a wax I only I do Brazilians and underarms and stuff like that, but When it comes to my legs, I don't I don't wax my legs because I don't I'm not really hairy I'm not really a hairy person. So I don't it doesn't really grow that fast so what I like to use is Beats, Beats or Nair, like either Beat or Nair. I don't know how I ended up picking up Beat, but I usually use Beat or Nair um, and just put some on my legs before I hop in the shower. I let it, you know, sit for maybe five, ten, like ten minutes. Don't go too long because you will burn yourself and you will feel it burning. So don't do it too long. If you start feeling burning, you need to hop in that shower and wash it off real quick. Um, but yeah, like five to ten minutes, depending on how much hair and your type of skin, if it's sensitive. Um, and then hop in the shower. I use one of these little like uh, exfoliating cleansing sponges. 
and I use that to like scrub it off of my leg and then that takes off all the hair while you're scrubbing away and it leaves my skin soft quick it's good like that's what I use but when I don't use beat let's say I'm like in a hurry or I'm out of town or not even just like in a hurry or I don't have time to I can't get a, an appointment I got something going on um, I go ahead and use this satin care um, and it's a mousse for um, a shaving gel actually not a mousse it's a shaving gel so hopefully you guys can see this but yeah that's I use that and then I use um, a sensitive razor, but um, I, don't, I didn't have any right now. But I just get whatever sensitive skin, exp the most expensive razor I could get or whatever and use that. But that's a very rare occasion, but that's what I use when I do shave. Um, but I love Nair and Beat guys, so at least for my legs, like they work so good. Um, I haven't tried it on other body parts, but actually do not. I mean, some people, I think, use it on their private parts, but I've never tried it. I'm scared. Anything that says burning, I try to keep it away from that area. But, you know, do as you please and check that out. All right, y'all. Next is what I do for my skincare. So, we're going to move on up. Um, first things first is what I use to wash physically wash my face with so I get these I showed you previously what I used to take off my nair and stuff on my legs but I use these um, exfoliating facial uh, sponges and I use that to wash my face and then I love these because once it gets like too dirty I go ahead and just throw it away and get a new one and it's a pack of four and I get this from Walmart for like two dollars so I whenever I see these I stack up on it I can never find these in LA but when I go to my mom's house or I go to the IE or go somewhere outside of LA, I usually find these. Um, so when I find them, I stack up on them because I love these. Uh, so I use that. And then I also use this like little mini brush that I just bought from um, Walmart. I have found it at Walmart. And it's a great little um, exfoliating brush. And I use that before I... I use that... Um, with a certain cleanser and I use this for a certain cleanser. So I'm gonna tell you what cleanser I use. This one for, um, this is the, hopefully I'm saying it right, La Roche Pose. I don't know, however you say it. Um, but yeah, this, I want you guys to really be able to read it. Yes, there we go. This is what I use on my face. So I use, it's a, a purifying cleanser, it's a gel. I use a little bit. Uh, wet my face a little bit, put it all over my face, and then I go in with this scrub and just really scrub my face before I even hop in the shower. And guys, this is the truth. I am so surprised that this uh, does so well for my skin, guys. Like, it does amazing. So, yes, grab this. I get this from Target. Um, you can also get it from Amazon as well. So, and the thing is about like $14 for this huge bottle. So, definitely worth it. Um, another facial wash that I use is a African black soap. I don't have the packaging and I didn't really want to show you guys the soap because it's really messy and it's just really black. <laughs> but I use that. Um, it's a really good cleanser. It takes off everything off your skin. So if you have any dirt or anything, it's going to take it off. Um, it's a deep cleanse and I just know that it works well with my skin. Some people... Black soap doesn't do well, but the key is to find a black soap, and I'm going to link it below to find the specific one I use, but um, some people, like, you got to use black soap and try it out on your skin as a tester first, because it might burn some people's skin, or you might, you know, some, you just don't get the ones that are artificial, like, you can find at Walmart or whatever. I like to get the real, natural black soap, but that's least chemicals in there as possible. That's what works for my skin. So I use that and then I use the, the exfoliating sponge to wash my face. Um, but I forgot to tell you what I use to take my makeup off. So um, once I, if I have makeup on or whatever, I go in with these Neutrogena um, makeup wipes. Hopefully you can see this, this Neutrogena makeup wipes and I go in with the, with this and I usually just take, it takes one or two wipes and just wipe everything off. Then I go in with the, um, La Roche Pose. I go in with this one right after, scrub that off, and then when I'm in the shower, I wash my face with the black soap, and that is like my go-to recipe when it comes to washing my face. Um, so now I'm off the shower, my face is nice and clean, you know. Oh, gotta brush your teeth. So, um, 
on my channel if you haven't seen it i'm gonna link below but i did go get my teeth um i got veneers done um i had to smile for you guys <laughs> i got my veneers done in turkey so i like to take care of my teeth and make sure you know everything's smelling good i want to make sure i keep up with my investment so i use this colgate total um colgate total toothpaste and i use this to clean my teeth it's whitening and it's refreshing i like to use this um and then i had to change my toothbrush because i had an electric toothbrush prior to getting these veneers but i didn't think it was a good idea, idea to use a uh something that's shaking in your mouth with you know veneers so i switched up and i actually used just like a soft bristle toothbrush and i got this from walmart a pack of comes with a pack of six um for like maybe like five dollars and what i love about this brand guys this brand is called reach my nails are pretty long so i might not be able to open it oh I, okay i got it it comes with its own little protective for the tooth part so if you're traveling it's easy to travel with which i love i love i love i love like i i go through these when my friends sleep over they take it and take it home with them and i know they be taking my toothbrushes but yeah this is great i only have one left i have to go buy me another pack because i love these so much after I brush my teeth and do all that, make sure it's nice and clean, um, I like to go ahead and go in with some floss. So I like to use floss um, every day during when I'm eating. I keep these, oops, <laughs> I keep these in my bag, like in my purse, in my car. So whenever I need to brush my teeth or like take something on my teeth while eating, especially with veneers, you want to make sure you have floss. And I also have the dental floss that isn't on the pick that you just like, you know, it's just a string. I have that for like the teeth all the way in the back. So that's my go-to for brushing my teeth. And it's important. I know when it comes to smelling good, it's not just about what you're putting on your body, but how you're taking care and cleaning yourself. That's step number one, like taking care of your body, making sure you're clean. Um, I know there's been a lot of like little things, memes and stuff going around about celebrities saying they might only wash once a week or once whenever they're rolling in the dirt honey i don't have that luxury like i don't i'm not sitting up in my mansion all day i cannot i've got to be around people and you know you know when you start smelling the funk you know when you didn't take a shower for a day or two you might you know had a rough little day and you wake up you're like hmm i smell some that's what you want to stay away from is that hmm i smell some like you don't want to smell anything and i'm a big hygiene freak so if you come around me you don't smell good or you're around me and my friends we're going to probably roast you yeah or stay away from you because we don't we don't we don't like that we don't like that at all but going on to the next um i'm still in facial care so when i um i'm done getting dressed or like getting out the shower and everything i like to scrub my lips like you got to keep these babies looking good so i use this it's called um a lip scrub i get it from lush you can get lip scrubs anywhere but specifically for this one i go to lush and it's edible so you can scrub your lips with this just make sure you like you get off the shower don't have nothing on your lips get a little piece and it's literally like just sugar so you just scrub your lips and they have different ones like honey one and mint and whatever flavor you like you just take a little bit scrub it on your lips and you lick it off like that, that easy i know it's kind of weird to be like i'm licking off dead skin too but i mean it's your skin right right or you could just wipe it off if you don't want to lick it off and get a little treat you can just wipe it off and it works so i love lip scrubs and then i go in with my little baby vaseline and it's lip care um Hopefully it focuses, but um, yeah, little mini Vaseline, this lip care, and I just take a little bit and just put it on my lips when I get off the shower, and then I go ahead when I do my makeup and put my lip gloss and stuff like that, but that is my step. Scrub my lips and do a, a gloss, and I usually only scrub my lips like, you could do like as often as you want to. You could do it every other day, you could do it every day. I prefer to do it like every other day. I don't want to be too raw on my lips. Sometimes I go and only do it once a week. So it just depends on like how my lips are feeling. I just, just go off of your judgment of that. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about what I like to put on my face. So I showed you what I washed with my face with. I kind of skipped over. I did my tooth, my what I did with my teeth. 
but I also like to show a face mask that I like to use. So I do face mask every time I need a, a little jump in my routine, like I need a, something to, to brighten up my skin or something. I go ahead and use this coffee scrub. It's called Coffee Cup of Coffee from Lush. You guys already know where I'm going. But, um, and it's basically coffee and you put it on your face. It smells just like coffee too. You put it on your face and let it sit, it hardens, and then you just, you know, take a little bit of water in your hands and like really exfoliate that them coffee beans all over your face. And it brightens your skin, it revives your skin, takes out dead dead skin. I love this. They have a bigger one and a smaller one. I think this one's about like twelve to fifteen dollars for this size, but it is definitely a must. If you don't really mask that well that much or anything like that, you're definitely gonna want to try this one. And then when I want something more softening, I go ahead with this Neutrogena Hydro Mask. So hope you guys can see that. This Neutrogena Hydro Mask, one of those masks that you just put on your face and just let it sit, you be cute and relax, very hydrating, very softening plumps up your skin I will go in and sit and after I take a shower I will put this on my face and like chill and then wash it off and put my go ahead with my skincare routine and then my skincare routine consists of a lot of good stuff so once I get out the shower dry my face I go ahead and spray this spray on my face it's called aroma water um, it's from Lush. This size is about like $20, but, um, they have different ones. They have a rose one. They have different, a uh, tea tree one. And then this one is the rose and lavender one. So this is really good for sensitive skin, skin that gets red, skin that's inflamed, anything like that. Rose is good for any redness, inflammation. This is good. Sensitive skin. Yes. So I sprayed this on, on my face as a toner. And then I go in with a facial serum. So I also get a facial serum from Lush. It comes in this packaging like um, Lush products, most stuff doesn't come in packaging, but they try to be as naked as possible with that, which I love to save the planet. But I use this, um, it's called a Full of Grace Serum Bar. So it's a serum and all you gotta do is warm it up with your hands. And then, yeah, I don't know if you can see my hands glistening, but yeah, you just rub it in with your hands and it melts and then you just put it all over your face. So I go in with that and it helps with just, you know, serums are good. It's You're never too young to start worrying about frown lines and making sure your skin is plump and all of that. Like, I need my skin to be, I want to be looking 20 when I'm 40. I don't know if that's possible, but I hope so because that's what I need. So I go in and do that and then I follow up with hydrolonic hy hyaluronic acid so i get this from the brand the ordinary hope you guys can see that but yeah i get it from this brand the ordinary and i just take a couple dots like it comes in these little t tester tubes and i just put that much in that my on my hand rub it in this is the truth guys and this little bottle is only like six dollars and I have a bigger bottle for like ten and yeah, I like this one. So it's the ordinary, I get this from Sephora. So I like that. After I put that on my face, I put a lot of things on my face. I go ahead with the Watermelon Grow um, Dew Drops. So you can also get this from um, Sephora as well. And I love this. Like this is supposed to help your skin be dewy and beautiful and yes. I love it. So you just put a couple drops. You can also add it in with your moisturizer, put it on top of your makeup. It gives you like a natural glow. So I definitely like this. And it smells really sweet. It smells sweet, I like it. Um, so yeah, and then once I am done with that, I go ahead and top with a moisturizer and an SPF. I wanna let you guys know it is important to have an SPF on your face like this goes outside of just smelling good but just really taking care of your skin um i use this spf from kiehl's and it works so well i mix i do like two drops and i mix it in with my moisturizer and the moisturizer i use is this moisturizer called skin shangri-la from lush and it's very very it's for dry skin like it's pretty expensive it's on like it's around 50 60 dollars for this but it lasts 
this tube can last me a year at least six months to a year for sure um because i only use a little bit and then i i add in the kills with it and yeah guys just just go ahead and screenshot this little duo right here because this is the truth. I never thought I could get sunburned until I moved into the valley in LA and whoo, was I in for a rude awakening. Like I was in school, walking to school in the valley and I came home to wash my face and when I put water on my face, I was burning me. I didn't even know what was going on. Couldn't put anything on my face, water, nothing. I go get an appointment with a dermatologist. Yeah, they told me, yeah, you got sunburn and your skin is sensitive and you need to change up some stuff. So after that, I was like, wow, like, you know, that's something I was never taught as a youngin of, you know, making sure you use sunscreen. Like, you know, black people be like, girl, you, you already melanated. You don't need to worry about that. No, <laughs> you need to worry about that. You will get burnt and crisp out here. So make sure you guys are taking care of your skin, taking care of your skin. Okay, so I just showed you that, um, and I want to show you what deodorant I use. So I use this one from Tom's. Um, I know it's a natural deodorant. I try to stay on the natural side, but natural that works because some, um, some deodorants that doesn't have like, I think it's aluminum. Yeah, aluminum free deodorant. Some of them don't do what it's supposed to do and sweat. And I'm a sweater, okay? I sweat and this one's the babe of the fresh it smells like baby powder but it smells so good and it actually works keeps me good like all day so um Tom's and it's only the specific one fresh powder no other one there's only one that is fresh powder that's it it might come in different packaging it has to say powder on it that's the one that works the other ones I can't I can't stamp it I can't put my stamp of approval because it's everything's not the same so yeah guys that is what i use on my face um i have some other th things i use nighttime and stuff like that but i think i'll do like a that's like a whole separate of me doing a nighttime skin routine and all the products i use now i want to get more back into smelling good so we got into the hygiene and how to stay fresh and clean now we're going to talk about how to smell good. So I'm going to just show you guys some of the few perfumes that I use. Not all of them, but my go-tos. Um, I have some that are on the cheaper end and some on the more pricier end. And then just a little mixture of stuff. So I'm going to start off with this. This is a body spray that you can purchase from Lush. Um, and it is lavender. I like a lot of soft, um, relaxing scents. And you can like spray it in the air. Do anything you want. Hope, oh, y'all see that? smells so good it smells so good you can spray it in the air you can spray it on yourself this is something that i also keep a bottle of this in my car so like let's say i'm like running around i then i'm eating in my car i'm doing whatever before i go somewhere oh smell good right it's gotta smell good so i get so much compliments on this like before i ever even started wearing expensive perfume i was just using this and I still say to this day, I've gotten more compliments wearing this than wearing any of these other brands that I'm about to show you guys. But I'm going to show you because I love them. And yeah. So the first um, one that I love to death is my Chance Chanel um, perfume. And when I tell you guys this is the truth. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want y'all to see this. Like, this smells so good. It smells so good. Perfect for every day, like very light floral, like I love that. It smells good. I use that one. Um, then I also use this one. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I only tried it because I, my friend bought it for me because it said my name on it, and I love it. So this is the Joy by Dior perfume, and it smells, mm, it smells so good. It's it's a it's definitely a stronger scent. So you don't even need to really mix this with anything. You only need a little bit, but this smells so good so joy dior mm, beautiful so another scent that i use i like to mix it with the chanel is this ysl um perfume i don't even know the name of it but this ysl perfume it's very very floral very great soft scent not overwhelming that's what i like i like soft not overwhelming so i can actually mix other perfumes with it and you know layer a little bit 
don't don't layer too much don't be heavy-handed because it doesn't work it does not work um so i also use this one i just recently got this one but it is the perfect by mark jacob mark jacobs intense so this is another one that can stand alone and it smells so good i would even i would spray this before i go to bed even like you know late at night just you know smell good like oh smells so so good but i believe i just went over everything i do oh one little tip i want to give you about this perfume before you put perfume on put a little bit of vaseline on the spots that you're about to spray on so it can last longer so you don't even have to spray that much it's going to last way longer just make sure you get some vaseline and just add a little bit and spray it on you guys but that is my haul that is what i use daily in um for my skincare for my body care for my hygiene this is how i smell good and smell good you feel good your skin is soft and shining you're gonna look and smell like a hundred bucks so you want to make sure if you're going into those meetings you want to be a boss you want to go sign them contracts first things first you want to be the woman that you want to meet okay so you want to meet somebody you want to run into someone that's beautiful and smells good not even have to be just smells good being smelling good makes you beautiful like it really does smelling good makes you beautiful so yeah hopefully you guys like these products that i use i stamp them these are stamps approval by me um let me know some of their favorite things that you like to do and also let me know if you guys want me to do like a shower routine a nighttime or a morning routine of how i actually use these products like me you scrubbing them on my face and my body you know me in the that's not to get me in the shower you know but no seriously if you want to see me actually demonstrate using these products i definitely definitely will and just like this give this video a thumbs up if you made it all the way to the end i love you you already know you're part of the gang for life and uh, if you're new here make sure you subscribe like comment down below your favorite parts even comment down below your instagram i will follow you guys okay let's communicate let's be friends my instagram is below down there but i love you guys and i can't wait to get to this 100k with you guys we on a race guys let's get to this 1k and once we get to there 100k man but i love you guys make sure you guys spread that peace and love joy and happiness and I will see you on the next episode.